Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, the Black Widow is gonna get this. This is from LMR. This is what they call a seat track extender. So basically what's gonna happen is I have to remove the seats and then bolt this down in the place of the seats and then the seats bolt on top of this. But it's gonna position the seat rack back so it gives me more leg room. So if you're over six feet tall like me, you'll definitely need one of these. Do you guys know what these are? These are the plastic caps that fit over the bolts in the front to hold the seat down. Can you believe it? The car still had these. That's awesome. It's got the covers back here as well. So we gotta carefully pull those out like that. Sorry, she's dirty. So I had subframe connectors put on, full length subframe connectors, and they connect to these, also to these rear bolts. So those subframe connectors have been welded in place and also bolted into the these last two bolts on the seat track underneath the car. The car sets really low, so I'm hoping I can get under, under there with my arm and actually get those bolts off so I can get these out. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but it's okay. It is what it is. Probably going to, have to get longer bolts because these have to go through the seat track extender and also have enough thread left to put the bolts through the subframe connectors. Might be a trip to Home Depot. We all know I love going to Home Depot. So I have to unplug it. Probably never been unplugged. There. Right. So as you can tell, it's dirty under the seat. So I'm gonna vacuum that before we install the seat extenders, seat track extenders. Look. Found more money. Well, at least now I can pay the camera person. Night and day. Not bad for original carpet, huh? And if I remember correctly, the 1990s and maybe the 91s I already had the armrest delete. So I was gonna get one and then I realized, oh, I don't need one. Came from Ford that way. So if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. M10 1.5 50 millimeter. See the length difference? The head of the bolt is not the same, obviously, but that's about the size that I need. It's definitely the thread pitch that I need. So I'll grab some locking washers to go with it. Yeah. Come on. 
Thank you for shopping at the Home Depot. That's high now, which is fine. But man, I gotta pull the seat forward a little bit. Definitely worth it if you're tall. But see, this is where a tilt steering wheel would come in handy because this doesn't tilt. So I'm just kind of stuck like this, but see the gear shift, if it was a stock one, it'd be easier. But this is like this now. And when I get the purse shifter in here, it'll be easier definitely it sets back further just the way it should this is day number two for the seat track extender install um, as it stands right now it's the same for the passenger side as it was for the driver's side so we're not gonna show you show you much on that because the same steps Well, 
the seat extenders are in. Just completed day number two, but they're finally in. We did the driver's side yesterday until it got dark. Did the passenger side today on a nice sunny day. So it's all good. All the bolts are down nice and tight. I think I like it a lot. The only difference is, is that it raises the both seats up not considerably, but just enough to where you can tell a difference that the seats set higher, which can be good, you know. But at any rate, if you like the content, please hit that like and subscribe button. And always remember, if I can do it, you can do it too.